And we got a Curve waiting in the last match of uh, Loser's uh, ninth place, and he's going to be playing the Loser of this match. So that'll be an interesting mm. one. Uh, hopefully we'll curve. get to see that. He's gonna, he might have to play Umarth, which would be unfortunate. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. So that's where we're at right now, guys. We got winner's side is SUJ Squid, uh, th the winner of this game, and West Balls. On loser's side, we've got Lego, winner of Eddie Mexico, Kadoran, Nut, and winner of Curve versus Loser This. So we'll see how that goes. And we're in it. Uh, I actually love the up smashes because uh, a lot of times when Foxes get like that running shine or something, they try to go for grab up air. And just sometimes, you know, a lot of Marth have just gotten so good at smashing that the up smash just works so much better sometimes. Oof. Yeah, I, I think Fiction heard what you said about him being good against Marth and wanted to make sure the crowd believed you. Oh, well, he's not just good against Marth. He's the best. Or actually, no, not the best versus Marth. He's probably third best versus Marth. As out, of all the, out of all the foxes, I guess. Out of every fox in the world. He's third best against Marth. Interesting. First is Leffen. Two is uh, IBDW. Okay. But, um, yeah, I think this matchup's actually super interesting. For all the complaints against, I think it's actually, like, even. Like, everyone's, like, 60-40, 55-45, or whatever. I think it's even exactly 50-50, even on stages like FD. Because I do think Fox can punish Marth just as hard. It just, nobody, like, correctly understands how to, like, kind of just juggle Marth sometimes. Yeah. I think it's that you, uh, you Crybaby Fox mains don't know what a losing matchup feels like. So you're just confused. It's not a losing like, matchup. No, that's what I'm saying. Is that like you see one matchup that's like kind of evenish, and like you're only ahead by a little bit, and you're just like, oh god, this is so rough. I mean, yeah, it is rough. It's just sometimes you're just gonna get Marth, and that's like, it sucks. Don't call us crybabies. Yeah. <laughs> that took you a minute. I don't like that. So, uh, Fiction up a good bit here. He's already taken a stock, he's looking to take the second one. But Umarth able to close that out. Nice down tilt, and then he goes way down for the up B to punish the up, uh, to punish, or the, yeah, yeah. To punish uh, Fiction's up B. Yeah. Fiction always has, like, cool ways of getting to the edge. I, I, I think, like, that's, like, one of the really cool things about him, because he always does, like, very simple stuff to get the, the ledge. Like, the Fiction is to just, like, roll to the ledge and then just do a little short hop back to get there. Ooh. Whereas, like, other people will be doing, like, you know, run off, shine, turn around up B and stuff. Yeah. While I'm talking about that, Umar <laughs> finds a quick Ken combo, and we're back to two yeah. games apiece. That was a rough forward smash for your fiction. Just because, you know, that random tipper, like, just sets him up so well. Yeah, it's crazy how you're just at kill, kill percent all the time against Marth. Yeah. But that was the 50-50 uh, the, uh, forward smash in the corner. It's actually very good sometimes, just because, like, as in its nature, it's a 50-50 because, you know, they either jump, or don't hold shield, or they hold shield and you don't get hit by it, you know? Yeah. Or you run up grab. So but, uh, Fiction claims a, a two stock to one lead. He keeps looking for these up smashes, and even when they're not hitting, Umarth isn't doing much to uh, make make Fiction regret going for the up smash, right? Like he's not punishing him. So I think we're going to keep seeing those, and Umar's yeah. going to have to find a way to disincentivize that if he's yeah. going to have a chance to this. The uh, up smash is actually really good versus Marth, just because sometimes they can, like, if Marth does, like, a fair, you can actually run it and just kind of catch him with the up smash. Yeah. In between, if he tries to, like, you know, short hop double fair or anything like that, he does a really good job of catching him out. He gets the grab. What's he going to finish off with? Oh, the Nothing. up tilt, or the up air doesn't hit. That's a little surprising. Oh, but Umarth not able to find it. Trying to get really fancy there, scared of... Uh, Fiction's edge guard, and he ends up going a little late, and that's going to cost him his first game. Now we got to get ready for the FD game. Here we go. Here we go. I actually, personally, I I know like I'm not the best, so like, but personally, I love FD versus Marth. Like, I actually think it's not even like that bad for Fox, just because while Marth does have like such a strong and potent punish game with his chain grabs. I think just like the amount of work it takes for Marth to get down versus Fox on FD just makes it like you know a lot better. We get it. You're a masochist. It's fine. I'm not a masochist. Mm. Mm -mm. No. Back air. See like right there. Like. All right. So I think Fiction heard you say that this is a good stage for Fox, and he wanted to make sure that <laughs> that was right. Know you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, also is the fact that Fiction is just a better player. I mean, he's sure showing it right now. He's playing like crazy. Umarth looks kind of lost. Can't find his way in. It's, it's sort of what you talked about, right? Like, yes, once Marth gets the punish game started, it's insane. But so far, he can't find it. Yeah. Oh, my God. 
He's yeah. got, he's gotten basically one hit so far, yeah, he, right? It, Martha struggles so much to kind of just like grit. Once he loses, it, it's super hard for Martha to get his footing back. Yeah, and like you can't be missing stuff like that. That's what makes the matchup like somewhat like hard on FD. Yeah, is, like that punish game. And like at, it's it's up until that like 18 or that like 25 percent or something like that is when. Uh, you can't go for the pivot grab anyway, so yeah. that ambiguous DI is like really strong in that spot, uh, making it really hard for for Umar to tell which way he's supposed to grab. Yeah. Fiction really wanted to get back to center stage. <laughs> All right, Umar able to close this out. Yeah, but he's down three socks to one. But and we it's got been a minute and a half. If he if his punish game's on point, he really just needs three grabs. Yeah, for sure. Right, like this is definitely but not. That's not what he wants. Out of the realm of possibility. Ooh, I yeah, love that. That's so good. Yeah, that drop down, jump up, shine. And it's tricky, right? You have to get past the Marth to get the shine. Otherwise, it just throws him back on stage. Yeah, and you're, um, you will get punished for it, most likely. Because Marth Yeah, because you have sliding. to double jump, so it's like kind of tricky, right? Yeah. Um, or you can't. You already did jump jump, yeah, so you, you have to just drop down. So if you get tricky. hit out of it, you're just dead. Yeah. So yeah, that, that was really good by Fiction to close that out. But here we go. Uh, Umarth quickly goes back. He wants to correct the record here. Have you watched Umarth before? Only a tiny bit, not okay. really. Do you know if he's an FD Marth or not? Or? No, because I don't know. I feel like as a Marth, you kind of just have to be, you know? Yeah, exactly. There you go. That's the first stock. Yeah. Fiction goes way down there to get the shine. And as soon as it connects, Umarth just has nothing left he can do. Yeah. Oh, that, if Back that shine yours. connects, that could have just been another stock right there. Umar definitely has like good combos here. You just can't get that first hit. Yeah. He's also got to find ways to close it out, you know? Yeah. Like that Nair is not. Yeah, good Fiction enough. doing a really good job with the high recoveries. It makes it a lot harder on Marth. Yeah, he finds the S match. That's going to do it. So three stocks apiece, even game. Yeah. Going a little better for Umar than last game. Mm. Yeah, right. the, the like the little Nair in the corner is so good just because, you know, he can catch a lot of Marth's like little, like his dash backs, his jumps. Because Mark will sometimes a lot of time like he'll try to do like a nair or something or fair or fair to kind of keep you out, but if you kind of full hop over it, it'll keep him out or it'll catch him. It's super good in the corner. Yeah. Ooh, that's his jump. Oh my gosh. So uh, Umarth able to take that second stock there. Finally making the FD look like a good stage for Marth. That's for the moment. We'll see. Oh, he gets the grab. Should be able to up air. Yep. All right, keeps it even here. Fiction trying to close the set out really quickly here on Umarth's counter pick twice in a row. But Umarth finds the grab here with his invincibility. He's going to get a ton of percent off of this. Goes yeah, for the pivot and misses it. He needs to finish it. those off. Yeah, that's really tough to miss that pivot there. But the good news is when Marth gets that one knockdown, it's still like not a terrible position for him. So yeah, you miss the grab and then you just Ooh. get the... You get the tech chase, right? Yeah. All right, so two stocks to one. Umarth closing out that one pretty quickly. Let's see if Fiction can uh, clean things up here and force the last stock. I love oh. the uh, little, like, the falling up there. That was so good. Oh, my God. Yeah. That was quick. <laughs> Brought it back instantly. There's, like, seven things we could talk about on that stock, but we're going to just go to the last one. Oh, my God. Fiction. Running shine. Ooh. Fiction, don't do it to him. Fiction. Oh, okay, Umar gets a hit. See if you can finish things off. Ooh. Going for Mars' head in that situation can be super nice with the side B because he wants to get you with the, the down tilt. Oh, he gets the tech in place. If he missed tech there, he's just dead. He, the oh, drill connects. I can't believe he wasn't in the air for that shine. Oh, the Nair doesn't quite reach. Mars fair outspacing there. Ooh, that jab just barely didn't hit. That would be the game. Oh, that time, yeah. Fiction knew. He knew the air dodge was coming. He waited for it. Umarth could have just landed on stage or even, like, wave landed to, like, slide away. But Fiction was just so sure that that's what was coming. Yeah. So he just waited for it and then punished it like crazy. Yeah, it definitely doesn't help that Marth's air dodge just isn't the best. Yeah, it's pretty slow, right? Yeah. If or, you air dodge up, you should be dead, honestly. Yeah. It, it's just it's just so, like, like he's kind of floaty enough that it's, he's not just going to get down right away and stuff. So, ah, tough stuff for Umarth. He, Fiction really made it look uh, really challenging there. <laughs> That's going to be a, a quick trip to Winterside Top 8 for Fiction. Let's go Fiction. Um, Umarth is going to have to play, I believe, Curve uh, yeah. to try to make it to Top 8 loser side. That's rough for Curve. 